Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. This is a standard pauper video. I asked Roberto for a deck and he uh, replied that he had the grindiest deck ever. This was the one we talked about on the Magic Gathering Strat show. Uh, the clock is not your friend. So um, I couldn't stay away. So that's why I have to play it. This is an expert, uh, Esper grind, grind, grind deck. Let's play it. I will put the link in the show notes, but basically the idea is just grind, 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 even more than uh, Gary's Cruise or something like that. Even if there's only two treasure cruises in this deck and I really can't fit a third one in right now. So I'm running the list just as Roberto played it in this week's SPDC, I think. Okay, it's time to do this against Allosaurus. I had to wait maybe half an hour there. This looks like a perfect hand. So I will keep it. I will play the cove, I guess. Yes. Uh, no. I will actually dress him when he has a full grip. One Duress main deck seems a bit random, but I'm sure Roberto knows what he's doing. Let's see what we can find and what he has paired black with. Uh oh, this will be super grindy. So what do I care about here? Probably peel. Pushed F8, F6. This will probably be decided on by the clock. Because it will be a grind fest. So next turn I can play Farika Chosen and uh, but that won't prevent the black cat from hitting me. Uh, though I don't really care about the black cat, do I? I will let him do one point of damage to me. Until I have all my lands in play at least. I can get the creatures back. Wall for the rest. Hmm. Okay, Black Cat Terror. Getting uh, a blue mana then perhaps. Another Black Cat. He missed the land drop. Um, another black cat and uh, anticipate. To find the mana for the wall. Signs in blood. Looks to be a straight up Gary's cruise. Really attacking serves no purpose. I think I have to take the land here. Play the land. I read those bones. Then I'm gonna have to have a hard choice what I bring back with the wall, but I think I'm reading the bones. I 
don't read. Do I want peel? Raised alarm is interesting too. I, I don't want any of these, do I? But I do want to get the wall into play. Uh oh. Exploiting a black cat. So much value. Oh no. Look at that. Four mana treasure cruise. That just sounds massive at this point. Uh, save the wall in the graveyard. Ah, that's not what I wanted. So it looks fairly solid. I am behind on the clock. So I'm F6ing here. I can kill the Aven with the harsh sustenance. Or I can simply grave merchant my way to glory. Another Aven. Took my sustenance. A chosen Grey Merchant. And uh, start doing some work here, perhaps. He's only at 14 because of his exploit adventures. But he lets them pass. Chosen. Grey Merchant. And he's at six. But he probably has a Grey Merchant of his own. Otherwise he's just dead, but there it is. Trading blows. Um, the Avon looks very attractive here then. Got to save a white mana. Exploiting a black cat. Discarding an island. Draw some cards. And we have the dream finder. That doesn't have a target. Because there are just not too many targets. Maybe we should have a debilitating injury we could get back as well. And swing with the black cat. Gonna raise the alarm at the end of his turn. He takes the damage. I should have drowned that guy instead, but the, the death touch guys are fairly useless as well. Blocking his Avon with my Avon. Should that happen? Uh, 
The Dreamfinder doesn't feel too strong here. Grey Perch, the Black Cats. How much mana is this? Seven. This Grey version doesn't do a ton. But what do I want? I want Font of Return. Uh, I'm just gonna play the Grey Merchant. Swing with the Death Touch, guys. He is at five. But he has five cards. Grey Perch. Ah, uh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna F6 here for speeding things up. He peeled uh, one of my tokens for his Grey Merchant. And here's Grey Merchant again. I think we are drowning. The token. Take a treasure cruise, I guess. Um, fire it off for three mana then, perhaps. Uh, getting rid of... I don't want to get rid of anything. Raise the alarm. A chosen. Another chosen, a faithful, a backwater. Here I probably has four treasure cruises, while I only have two. That's a disadvantage. Play the black backwater and be done with it. Still behind on the clock. Another flyer. Uh, main phase anticipate. Looking for font of return. We'll take drowner. Need seven mana for drowner, uh, dutiful attendant. So I'm gonna cast the dutiful attendant and then gray perch. No, I'm not. Am I going to gray perch? How? Yeah, I think I will. And leave one guy in the graveyard so I can get him back with uh, the attendant. Maybe I should just great push now to save time. And then F6. Uh, actually, casting Grave Curse also prevents him from hitting something with... Okay. Uh, wall. Black Cat Attendant. Hope I don't draw something he can target. With the rest. 
It also has main vector S. Uh, oh, that's true. The rest fizzles, but he, we haven't seen any treasure cruises from him yet, so he will soon have a treasure cruise party. Now I can get my treasure cruise back. Or should I cycle the Grey Perch? Is that the point? I'm gonna drown the attendant first. This looks like a much better drown card. Uh, drowner. Flesh to dust targeting my Aven, okay. And we know that. He discards a sign in blood. Oh, that's sweet. And I go for horse sustenance, I suppose. Play land. And I'm done. Well, now he has aerial superiority. No, not my sustenance. So I can get it back, but is that what I want to get back? Maybe it is. Here comes the cruise. Yes. Uh, so do I just get my treasure cruise or is it horse sustenance? This is not easy. I think it has to be treasure cruise. Yeah, I'm taking treasure cruise. I'm not afraid to use it. Uh, yes, and I'll cast it for the full cost. Uh, getting rid only of planes. One of the sustenances and this is hard, the faithful. That seems utterly useless. And you go. I'm gonna deck myself. I also don't have the full set of four gray merchants. I only have three, which I think is bad. And I think he will win this because he has four treasure cruises and four gray merchants. He's refilling his hand. Now maybe he's getting refined. Maybe I can't let go of... Um, of the Grey Perch. Maybe I have to... Get the Grey Perch with the wall. Is that the point? Uh, taking read the bones, I am going to deck myself.
At least I'm catching up to him on the clock. Well, put that on the top, that on the bottom. Well, I can... Can I bounce? I can bounce the grain merchant. This is starting to get perverse. So I bounce my own grain merchant. Sacrifice that. Returning Grey Merchant. Replay it. No attack this time, but maybe next time. So that's what the faithfuls were for. But now he cruises. Yes. He dresses my peel. <laughs> Those creatures are not fun to peel, but I would have peeled an Avon. He still has 21 cards in his deck. So I can get through one damage, but there is the Grey Merchant. That's a pretty lucky top deck. Grey Merchant Wars. Now let's see if he has the counterspell for the Grey Merchants in his sideboard. But I win this. I hope. Shatter pause. I'm now ahead on the clock as well. So what do I sideboard? Dress font, negate, negate, peel, death touch guys, fairly useless here, uh, raise the alarms, feels horrible, <laughs> scholar, <laughs> that's just perverse. Uh, of course, now I have two fonts, so now maybe I want a Dream Finder. Festigloom, Disciple of Phoenix, of course. Um, Pillar, but will he retrieve? Will he retrieve his own Grey Merchants? I think I need the Pillars. But over what? Can I fit the pillars? Just sideboard out the faithfuls. But then I have less grey merchants. Well, I'm not gonna play the pillars. Am I really gonna play two duresses? I'm getting those cruises is so sweet. Wow, what's the card you cyborg out here? Am I going to do the unthinkable and cyborg out a land? Thinking that missing one or two land drops is not the worst because this is gonna go long. Oh, <laughs> yeah, please comment on that. Okay, this is my deck for Duel number two. We still have 40 minutes, but that's not enough time to finish two duels. So we are now stressed for time. 
What the grind? He chooses to play first. Okay, I thought he chose to play last. Uh, keep this. It was an island I said, put it up. He dresses nothing. Free mulligan. Uh, that thing. F8, F6. Play font to return. Yeah, maybe two treasure cruises is quite enough in this deck actually. Because having played more would have hurt me. Going for the slow game. Grindfest, Grindfest, Grindfest. Grindfest 2015. That should be the name of the deck. What the hell is going on? Oh, the rest sign in blood. That's pretty boring. Uh, well, I can't exploit anything with the faithful guys. I guess I'm just done here. Definitely gonna F6 here, not trying to represent the counter. Do I grab two cards from him? Wow, another wasted dress. Typhoid rats. Okay, I'm gonna bounce this faithful and wreck his hand. That's my plan. That is the plan. Going for treasure cruises. D didn't I have three devotion? What the hell? Yeah, I do. Oh, he's trying to choose the third card. So the third card is the one I'm getting. It's the third card I want. Okay, he's falling behind on the clock. I'm gonna time him out. That's the point of standard poker, isn't it? Grind fast. Fast. Okay, I'm running out of things to say. Did you like your second Standard Pauper video this week? Uh, you should thank Roberto for sending me two intriguing decks when I asked him about something interesting. So thank you, Roberto. Roberto. Okay. I don't know what to say. I don't know what he's doing. There comes the Avon, and it goes to the cozy graveyard. Uh, now I wish that the dresses had hit something, so I had a target for my wall. Going to bounce the disciple, but all of this doesn't matter as soon as he draws the first of his four treasure cruises. I never thought I would say that two Treasure cruise is the right number for this deck. There comes the first of his treasure cruises. And now my exploit plan seems uh, crappy. Or my, yeah, you know what I talk about. So I'm gonna anticipate. Instead. Do I want black cat or do I want font? I'm going for the second font. Crazy font value. So I think I have to exploit the disciple here. Or return the disciple. Putting a creature in the yard. Can now also mnemonic wall anticipate next turn. Uh, yes, you die. And I return disciple and I'm done. Thank you very much. Two and a half minutes ahead. Oh, I don't have a creature on the board. <laughs> It'll be death touch beat on. He did not cyber out his death touch guys. 
Black Cat and then Exploit. No Disciple. Oh, he go this is gonna get my Disciple. But maybe he'll take the wall. No, he gets my Disciple. And I can wall the Anticipate. He didn't even attack. Is walling the Anticipate the right thing? Or should I just Grey Merchant? I'm willing to anticipate. Yes. And I'm done. Yes, three cards. All right, you get to do two damage. So maybe now he has a counter spell. But I am going to Grey Merchant, perhaps. And then Faithful the Grey Merchant. Yes. This doesn't feel like card economy, does it? Uh oh. So now my grave merchant has to stay on the board. Uh, uh, okay, anticipate, try to find, no, not anticipate the land. But Grey Merchant again. But I, I am falling behind here. But I did win the first game. And he has to win twice in nine minutes. Uh oh. That hurt. So I can peel the black cat. Or one of those guys, of course. I need another land. Or that. Read the bones. Uh, get the scholar. That seems too early for the scholar actually. Do I want them both? I think I want them both. Like that. Get an island. Uh, okay, keep up peel. I do have three creatures in the yard now as well. So he is peeling. Then I am peeling in response, right? Uh, for those two, and then he doesn't get his Grey Merchant back. And I can wall for Read the Bones. But I'm at seven. No! Well, he didn't retrieve anything, so but my pillars of light would pillar of light would have protected me. And I don't think the Sadis is faithful helped me that much. Maybe I need more removal. But now I have so few creatures. Can I reliably put four creatures on the board here? I feel that this deck goes in a bit too many directions, but I'm gonna 
hope for four creatures on the board. Now, Horse Sustenance seems crazy here. Maybe I'm better off with Dows. Keep one. I should have kept raised the alarm. That's what I should have done. This is why we need cyborg plants always. This looks great. Yeah, Roberto warned me about Dreamfinder that it seldom happens. And I think that is actually an easy cut from the deck. But for what? Read the Bones has left the building. Read the Bones is once again in the building. Yeah, I don't think I agree with white in the deck. Actually, but it's just this one matchup. So stay put, protect myself, read the Bones while I do so. The attendant. I think I, I'll go for one attendant. Because that's a nice play next turn. But if attendant dies first. It's not that good. Okay, use this. Get the white mana. Two and a half minutes ahead, F6. He anticipates. I get to draw first blood with my gray merchant. He exploits his death touch guy. So I can play font anticipate here, but then he can get my gray merchant. But on the other hand, then I have a font. So I swing. Random card from his hand. An island. <laughs> That's not very impressive. Font. Anticipate. Going for a Disciple. I think. And done. Disciple four cards. Here comes the first gray merchants. No, it's a typhoid rat. And a black cat. So then I get to hit him with um, the disciple. Hopefully getting a treasure cruiser or gray merchant. That would be sweet. Anticipate, but yeah, that doesn't help. Oh my god. So I'll take the Evolving Wilds for his thinning purposes. Is it time to Grey Merchant? Yeah, I do have to stall here, so I think it's time to Grey Merchant. Or is it time to drown?
So now I actually have Griffin Dreamfinder font. No! No! That's so slow, that's nine cards. Uh, so let's play the Grey Merchant. And next turn I have to use the font. Can I attack? No, I can't. And uh, let's get the blue mana. Six minutes. So I'm fonting black cat and drowner. Wall for read the bones. Swing with all my guys. Use font. Uh. Hmm. Wall read the bones. Wow, the dream finder was slow. And now I'm happy to let the wall die. Comes the treasure cruise. Six mana, so font read the bones is seven. No! He has to take read the bones there, yes. And he stays back. Should I just Grey Merchant font here? Uh, or, hmm. Yeah, fast decision. I'm fonting a peel. Cat. Uh. I think I'm gonna peel here. So I peel grey merchant rats. Oh, I should have peeled the black cat. Of course. But it's negated. But now I get full value for the font. But do I really want to draw black cat drowner? Yeah, I can set up uh, drowner black cat here. That's what I'm gonna do. So the order of cards here is... Is this the order? Uh, or do I choose them later? If it is the order, I want this order. Oh, they, they go, sorry. I was just thinking the wrong way. So I play the black cat and I drown it.
get to look at some cards. I think I want another drowner. Or is it pillar? Pillar seems more defensive, but drowner seems a ton better. So. Four minutes, 20 seconds, but he's really ahead. Uh, that doesn't work. Gonna drown the dutiful attendant to get back. A black cat. Uh, that's a shame. Oh god, that grey mouse is going to hurt. Maybe I should just have gone for the pillar light there. Yeah, that's a mistake. I am super stressed by the clock. So the dream finder is gone. He stops my super slow thing. <sighs> yeah, this is not going very fast. No, 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 no. It's the wrong card. Attendant. Do I get back Dreamfinder? I think I do because he can block. Dreamfinder. Wow. Black. And done. No attacks. That looks close to profitable. Play Dreamfinder Black Cat next turn. I'm at seven, so the first gray motion kills me, but he's out of cards. I don't have two white mana. How bad is that? So I can't do anything. No, am I going to be grinded to death? I don't even have very attractive creatures in my graveyard, do I? Am I missing something here? <laughs> Scholar! <laughs> Can you keep me alive? Uh, seven, nine mana. So you can hit for two. I think Dreamfinder is just superior here. And I do it. Thing I came here to do. And then I have to defend myself with Scholar next turn. That's grindy. But he just needs to draw a grey merchant and then I'm dead. Block. And Scholarfest. No! <laughs> no! Well, I'm sure I misplayed a lot. But it was grindy. And that was the point. Uh, let me know my mistakes, but please don't force me to watch all of this. Tell me the minute and second when it happened. And thank you for watching.